And welcome back, everyone, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. Today, we got a few more stories to talk about. We were talking about crypto this time. We got three good crypto stories I want to talk about. We're going to talk about Nexo. We're going to talk about what was the other story? Uh, we got some you know, Coinbase discussions, and we also got uh, another interesting story about VeChain. So let's go into these three stories, and then uh, we'll go a little, to a little summary for each one. So first off, let's share the screen. Uh, we'll do a little of this. Here we go. So that's the first story. So Nexo, uh, Nexo sent a cease and desist letter to Anonymous uh, that was accusing them of embezzlement. So there was a huge um, discussion on Twitter about, you know, the first off, there's been discussion about Celsius and there's concerns about Celsius as a lending platform. The the, the CEO of, of Celsius, it's rumored that he was trying to leave the country. Then it was rumored that it was just his family or friends that were trying to catch a flight doesn't matter but the anyway the, this story is about nexo so uh the anonymous twitter account get, put this post this long thread investigating and bring up concerns about nexo another crypto lending platform nexo when they you know call it damage control spin control whatever you want but they immediately addressed the situation and they sent out a cease and desist letter to the twitter account and then said there's not embezzlement going on and they started to uh discrediting this immediately so that's a sign of a it's it's good that they did that so it's a it's a um uh and you can go into the details but basically that this is this is this is, this goes into the category of fud until we hear otherwise but nexo seems that they are doing very good as far as um handling their assets and handling their lending they are much less risky accounts than celsius was so so far so good for nexo and i this kind of attack was expected given what's going on in celsius so initial information looks good on Nexo. Obviously, you need to do your own research and do your own diligence. Um, the due diligence of investigating anybody that you get involved with. But Nexo seems that it's in much better footing than Celsius. So second story, uh, Coinbase shares fall 9% after Golden, Golden Sachs downgrades the stock. So uh, there was a story that just came out. I didn't pull that one up and up right now, but uh, Coinbase announced that they're getting rid of their pro Coinbase interface, which is had much lower fees, much easier to work with, and was beneficial to many people for doing low cost fees of transacting uh, with their fiat or getting money in and out of crypto markets. Uh, that seems to be going away. So now we're going to look for even uh, better options. But this is what happens in a marketplace that evolves is that the cheapest options get challenged. And they say, well, why are we doing this so cheap? Maybe we need to make it improve get better profit margins and they raise their rates that's just what happens um so it, it's a natural course of events i've seen it happen in other industries uh and it just happens over time that just it, it can't stay cheap forever they want you to get your foot in the door get involved get used to using the interface and then sometimes they take features away that you don't like or they raised fees or both so that's what's going on so that's part of the news going on with coinbase uh, Golden's, Golden Sachs doesn't like that they're having like, these 18% layoffs, as mentioned in the store, which uh, the story of 1,100 employees out of the 10,000, 5,000 employees. Uh, again, they, they feel they, they grew too quickly. It's amazing they have 5,000 employees and they still have such suspect customer service at Coinbase, but I digress on that one. But here's the third story I wanted to share. There's a project I haven't talked about in a while, VeChain. And VeChain, for those of you who don't know, it is a supply chain coin and project originally based out of china but i think they moved over to europe now so they've gotten a little bit less chinese centric but they uh, they track um supply chain uh on the blockchain so it's a good idea good concept if you want to know if your food is organic or where it comes from or what what things were put in where or what where your car is built or where something comes from uh, um having a blockchain for supply chain makes a lot of sense it makes a ton of sense so the only two that are really in this space are VeChain and Origin Trail, which is also known as TRAC. I think they were originally called as Tracecoin. Uh, but VeChain, uh, they just inked in a, a partnership this month with UFC. Now, UFC has worked out deals. First, they did a deal with Litecoin. Then they did a deal with uh, Crypto.com. And they're very much an international company. UFC, they're all over the globe. They, have, they just had fights in Thailand or Singapore. Uh, they go to Dubai or the, they go all over the world to have uh, events. So VeChain uh, is the first official layer one blockchain partner of the UFC. So they get a sponsor, sponsorship there. Uh, and let's see how much 
they go over the viewership. It was like nearly a billion people watch UFC. Uh, I think it was a hundred million dollar deal, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a big deal. It's uh, it's good visibility for V Chain, and that's a good positive for those who are involved in V Chain. And a lot of people, a lot of people are looking for positives and projects. But you could, a lot of these projects are still doing development, and they continue to d- develop even in these uncertain times. Like crypto's got issues. Obviously, like I wouldn't say the crypto has issues. I say the crypto has a perception issue that it's risky and the price keeps going down and Bitcoin's gone from its all-time high back down to 20,000 or less, you know, losing, you know, two-thirds of its value. Some projects have lost 80 to 90% of its all-time high value. But you have to look at it as these are, if you still believe in the project, if you love Bitcoin at 60,000, you would love it at seven, at 20,000. It's on sale. Nothing's really changed for Bitcoin in the last five months. It's still the same project. Same thing for a lot of these projects. In fact, a lot of these projects have better improvements and news coming out that are positive. Divi had the wallet come out. Uh, VeChain had this deal come out. Uh, we have all these, um, uh, um, Mimble Wimble went live on Litecoin. All these different projects. Theta comes out with good news. Uh, Polygonmatic, we t- I talked about that earlier with their, their ID. All these projects continue to evolve. So again, price and value do not mean the same thing. These products are creating value. They're improving. They're building on their blockchain. They're building their roadmap. They're building their next feature sets. They continue to evolve. As long as they have the ability, they have working capital to, to fund the people that they're developing for the project, they, they'll look good in the long run. And now's the time to be accumulating coins, not financial advice, but when prices are down, you accumulate coins. When prices are up, you accumulate cash value. Now's the time to, you know, if you can, you have dry powder, or if you see a sale and you can move from, say, Bitcoin to an altcoin or vice versa, because one's up and one's down, might not be a bad move. So something to be considered uh, to, to think about. And there's lots of good positive news that's coming out there. So I'm going to do another video in a little bit about uh, the world economy and the G7 and Russia and all that stuff. So try to balance out the crypto story with a separate video on the economy. So two videos for you today. So lots said today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified for both videos. And I'll, so with all that said, let me close the door on the bureau. <sighs> take a breath, slow down, close the door on the bureau, say follow leader one more time, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.